Hi, welcome back. Let's talk about termination of an offer. We've talked about what an offer is and we've talked about what does the UCC do with open terms in an offer. Well, how does an offer terminate? Well, an offer can to terminate through different means. First of all, revocation. The law says that an offeror has the power to revoke or withdraw an offer at any time before the offeree accepts it. Meaning, I can make an offer and if you have not accepted it yet, I have the ability to withdraw the offer at any time before acceptance. So if I say I will pay you $500 for your computer and you say, I don't know, let me think about it, I'll let you know next week. I have the power to at any time revoke that offer. I call you up on Friday and I say, I revoke my offer. Revocation of the offer. The offer terminates. If upon that call you say, look, no, no, I want to take your offer of $500. It's too late. What you have done is to make a new offer. So the offeror has the power to revoke or withdraw the offer at any time before the offeree acceptance. Another way that an offer can terminate is through rejection. If the offeree expressly rejects the offer, either orally or in writing, the offer is terminated. So if I say I will buy your computer for $500 and you say no, that offer is gone. It's terminated. It's off the table. You cannot come back to me the next day and say, I will accept your offer of $500 for my computer. The offer is terminated. When you come back, what are you doing? You are making a new offer. Remember, offers can be made by both, by either the buyer or the seller. Counter offer. If the counter offer proposes different terms or conditions, it operates as a rejection of the original offer, meaning the original offer terminates, and it now is a new offer. So it's a rejection plus a new offer. If I say to you, I will pay you $500 for your computer, and you say I will sell it to you for $600, you have rejected my offer, and you have proposed a new offer. You have made a new offer. You have changed from the offeree to the offeror. So in that case, I am not bound by my original offer because my original offer terminated. If I say no to your offer to sell the computer for $600, you cannot then say, oh, okay, then I will take your $500. No. Why? Because that was a rejection. You have rejected that original offer. You made a counter offer, which is a new offer. Now I have the right to say, I will not go forward with the contract, with the agreement. So that's the termination of an offer. And once the offer is terminated, the offeree can no longer accept it. If the offeree attempts to accept a terminated offer, their purported acceptance will not create a binding contract. And again, on your test, this is likely to occur where there has been a terminated offer, which means the purported acceptance, yes, I will take the $500, even after you rejected my counteroffer to $600, that does not create a binding contract. Now, the UCC changes offer revocation in certain ways. The common law rule says an offer or may revoke its offer at any time before acceptance. Under the common law, in order to hold that offer open, the offeree must pay consideration for the promise to keep the offer open for a stated period of time. Why? Because there must be something of value. 
If I say to you, I will hold this offer open for a week, I will sell you this house, this offer is good for a week, if you don't give me payment for that week, then I remain free to sell the house to someone else. Why? Because there was no consideration for my promise to keep the offer open. You must have paid consideration. So the common law says an offeror can revoke its offer at any time, even if the offeror has said, I'm going to hold this offer open for a certain time period. I will hire you for, um, to come work for my law firm. I'll hold this offer open for six weeks. Well, if at any point during the six weeks I decide to hire someone else, I can do that under the common law. Unless they have paid me consideration, the offeree has paid consideration to keep the offer open, I don't have to. Now, the UCC creates a special rule known as a firm offer. And this applies only to merchants. So the UCC creates a special rule for firm offers when those offers are made by a merchant. And a firm offer is an offer that is ir irrevocable even without the payment of consideration. I will sell you that car for $5,000. I will hold the offer open for a week. That looks to be a firm offer. And if I put it in writing and I sign it, then even though there's been no exchange of consideration, the offer has become irrevocable. I cannot revoke the offer for the time period that we have decided. Now, firm offer is available for a limited amount of time. It must be a limited amount of time. And in fact, cannot exceed three months. So I can't say I'm going to hold this offer open in perpetuity or until next year. Instead, three months, 90 days is the maximum. A firm offer has to be in writing and it has to be signed by the party against whom enforcement is sought. This is a special rule under the UCC, no obligation to pay consideration. So on your test, when you have a situation of an offer being held open, look to see, is the party making the offer a merchant? And if so, did they make an irrevocable offer? Did they put it in writing and did they sign it? And is it for a limited amount of time? In those cases, the rules of offer revocation have changed for merchants.